Only four days and counting until we know who goes home with the Vince Lombardi Trophy on Super Bowl Sunday. Mo Rocca stopped by the Super Bowl at press conferences media day. He's in New York Times Square looking very dapper with a chapeau on his head. Mo, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail, Nora, and Charlie. Media Day is an event where thousands of reporters converge on these players and ask questions. I was one of those reporters asking questions. Please enjoy. take for me to become a defensive tackle? What skill do I need to work on? Um, you got to eat. Gain about 200 pounds. Okay. Check. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Do you think that maybe people are taking the extra point for granted because you make it all the time? Yeah, they're definitely taking it for granted. Maybe this Sunday, you know, after you guys score a touchdown, just don't make the extra point. Yeah, that's, that's a great idea. I think I'll do that on every one. How did you develop your sack dance? Watching WWE. <laughs> and would you recommend that everybody get a sack dance? I think everybody should get a sack dance. The women love dancing, so you gotta, you know, you gotta dance for them every once in a while. I always get confused. Is it the best defense is offense or the best offense is defense? I think the best offense is defense. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, it's kind of funny how I'm six feet tall. You're not. How did you get to Peyton Manning? Okay, I don't know how I did it, but I just like weaved through, crawled under, and bam, I was there. You're a gymnast, I have you here. Can I show you something? Please. Oh, can I just say I'm really shocked right now? Like, that was really good. Okay, that's great. I love the color commentary, but give me a score. Uh, that was a 10. That was perfect. I like how you did the salute. Thanks. Salute. I stuck the landing. High five. But if they don't have a good offense and the other person has a good defense, then what happens? Then you go back on defense, and our defense will get them the ball back to our offense. If you win, you'll get the Vince Lombardi trophy. Yes, sir. If you lose, there's free coffee for you at the Vince Lombardi rest stop on the turnpike. You're not a quarterback, but you used to sell hot dogs at Fenway. Is that right? That's, that's a true statement. So you're used to passing, right? Yeah. Because if I'm like 12 seats in, you got to throw this thing. Yeah, yeah, I could, uh, you know, just give me three bucks and I'll give you a hot dog. Oh, he's going to pass a hot dog to me. He's passing a hot dog. Oh. Yes, got it. But if the offense drops the ball and the defense picks it up and the defense is actually very good at offense, won't that turn everything around? No, our defense just has to be better than their offense. If you guys were actual Seahawks and they were actual Broncos, how would that affect the game? Like, what would your strategy be? We'd probably stay above them and make, make dives down, right? I don't know what they could do. We'd have to find a way to get them on the ground. And then just trample them. Right, right exactly. Richard, 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 it's, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. And now it should be noted that the Seahawk is actually found on every continent except Antarctica. Considering Super Bowl Sunday may feel like Antarctica, the Seahawks could be at a great disadvantage. <laughs> well, That's first, a point we had not talked about. Yeah, first of all, Mo, happy birthday. And Thank uh, you so much. Thank and what you. were you holding in your hand while you did that cartwheel? Well, in the gymnastics world, I'm known for a move where I do a one-handed cartwheel with a glass of liquid in the free hand without spilling a drop. So I just swiped a half-drunk Pepsi from a grizzled sports reporter. I don't think he noticed. He was sort of slumped over at that point. You're it's the a tough day. You're the only one, Mo, who would ask who would win between a real Seahawk and a real Bronco. I love that question. Thank you, Mo Rocca. Thanks. Great original reporting.